Hi, I'm Carl Conrad. I'm a registered immigration specialist and founded Australian Immigration Law Services 23 years ago. Being in this field for such a long time and having witnessed thousands of our clients' journey to gaining Australian permanent residency and citizenship, it's now time to pass on this knowledge through our YouTube channel. Gaining long-term residency in Australia has been getting more difficult, but it's because there's an incredible demand which drives the competition for places up. Australia is a wonderful first-rate country full of activity and safe and with beautiful landscapes. It boasts a strong education system with many business opportunities. So how do you gain permanent residency? I'm often asked this. Australian immigration law is vast and complex and there are so many visas with so many rules. We've done lots of detailed videos and requirements for different visas, but how do you know what's best for you? Perhaps it's best to first know what your options are. And that's what today's video is all about. The common pathways in which you may gain permanent residency in Australia. There are three common ways of becoming a permanent resident. They are through the family stream, the skilled stream, and the business and investor stream. In addition to these, there are more niche visas that do not fit into streams but provide their own pathways. I'll share a little about those two at the end of this video. If you have eligible family members in Australia, you may qualify under the family stream. Visas under this stream are sponsored by your family members who are already citizens or permanent residents of Australia. If you are eligible, you can sponsor your parents. There are a number of parent visas available, but the most popular are the contributing parent visas. You can also sponsor your partner through a two-stage visa process, but sometimes you can get permanent residency straight away if you've been in a long-term relationship. You can sponsor your children, and this includes adopted children. You can also sponsor relatives if they have been dependent on you for a considerable period. Carers also fall under this stream. You can sponsor a carer to look after you if you're in great need of full-time care and the government is unable to provide that assistance to you. Via the family stream, requirements tend to be about establishing an, an eligible relationship and some level of your responsibility towards the visa holder coming to and settling here in Australia. The skilled visa stream is a major part of Australia's migration program. You qualify under this stream by having skills that Australia needs in its labour market. There are two main branches here being the points tested visas and the employer-sponsored visas. Both groups of visas are based upon your occupation and other factors that Australia considers valuable. With the points test visas, you will be scored on a point system in categories such as your age, your English skills, your work experience, or if you have studied in Australia and more. The points tested visas are the 189 visa and the state nominated 190 visa and the regional 491 visa. The 189 and 190 visas grant you direct permanent residency while the 491 visa has a pathway to permanent residency after meeting the appropriate income level requirements. For the 190 visa and the 491 visa, you need a state or territory to nominate you. These nomination programs are run independently by the different states' governments and each state will have their own labour needs and ways in which you can qualify for the visa. The 491 visa has a further family-sponsored stream. This is not like the family visas I spoke about earlier. For this visa, more types of family members are eligible. For example, your sister, nephew, grandparent or first cousin could be considered as a eligible sponsor. That relative will need to be living in regional Australia. We've done detailed videos on all these visas, including a video comparing the 189 190 and 491 visa and nomination requirements for all the different Australian states. The link to these will be in the description below.
If you have an Australian employer, you may be eligible under the employer-sponsored visas. This group of visas is likewise based upon your occupation, but requirements are more focused on your role within the company that is sponsoring you and how your skills are able to positively contribute. Visas you can access are the Employer Nomination Scheme 186 Visa and the Employer Sponsored Regional 494 Visa. You can get the 186 Visa directly or you can access the 186 after some years on the Temporary 482 Visa, which is a very popular visa with employers. The Regional 494 Visa is a temporary visa and has a pathway to permanent residency after meeting the appropriate income level requirements. For those who are business savvy or good with investments, this stream is for you. The Business Innovation and Investment 188 visa leads to permanent residency via the 888 visa. You should have a good track record of running a business and want to run one in Australia, or you may just wish to invest a large sum of money into a structured investment strategy. Other options. If you don't fall under any of the major streams, there's some other popular options for you. The former resident visa, for those who have lost their residency and wish to get it back. The global talent visa, for highly skilled individuals with experience in specific target sectors. And refugee and humanitarian visas, which are designed to support people in crisis. We have recently released the updated requirements for the global talent visa, if you meet the eligibility criteria for this visa, we highly recommend it as it offers a streamlined pathway to permanent residency. And it also can be processed very quickly. A link to the video is below. We shall also be covering soon the employer nomination visa and the investor and innovation visas, so stay tuned. Of course, all of these visas have so many regulations and requirements that must be met for a successful application. I'm afraid it's far too many to go into detail in any single video. We have many useful videos such as how to gain permanent residency after the 491 visas, so please check out our channel to enjoy more of them. We will also be making more quick tip videos on each visa class to introduce you to the visa so you can quickly decide if a visa is more or less suited to you. Do subscribe if you're enjoying our videos and give us a like. For an in-depth discussion relating to your circumstances, we offer Zoom, Skype and telephone consultations. You can book a time at australiavisa.com. There is a consultation fee applied to these sessions. To get all of our updates, follow us on Facebook. Until next time, take care out there and I'll look forward to seeing you then.